his chips. You couldn't tell from his poker face, though. Still very poised. Jonathan Little he has folded his hand. Corey is called out of the small blind with King Jack of Diamonds. Kojak, as we call it. Doesn't raise with the hand. And Daryl Dickin with a 5-3 of diamonds. Not going to raise. Content to see a flop. Here we go. Look at this. Oh. Corey with top pair of kings. But Daryl Dickin has an open in his straight draw. Now well, action's on Corey. Well, he is going to lead out and bet the two kings, it looks like, Vince. Well, in. I call. Well, he's going to bet 100000 and Daryl quickly goes all in. And without hesitation, Corey calls him with the two kings. He has the best hand. He's up on his feet again. Arms crossed. Just hoping the Kings stand up. Great instinct by the Canadian. Quickly calling the all-in bet. And just like that, Daryl Dickin caught picking. Well, Vance, I like the all-in bet by Daryl Dickin here. Hard to assume your opponent's got a king in his hand when he didn't raise pre-flop. Daryl has the open-in straight draw. He's looking for an ace or a six. But the nine of diamonds comes on the turn. We are down to the river, and Daryl Dickin must catch an ace or a six. He must make a straight to stay alive in this tournament. Well, it would be back to online poker for the online star. It is all coming down to the river. Here it is. Well, it's a seven of clubs. And that's going to do it for Daryl Dickin. Well, early on, it seemed like Daryl had all the momentum, and he was on track to win this thing. He's won some big bucks. Get a three-course meal on me, Daryl. You deserve it. Terrific player. Just couldn't quite get it done tonight. Going to get a lot of poker fans for this effort here tonight. And he is going up to talk to Leela. Who are you rooting for? Who do you think is going to win? Well, I don't know. They're, I think they're both... Uh... They're both about equal. They have about the same amount of chips. Some be PC. You gotta give us the inside scoop. You can't be giving me all this PC stuff. Oh, if I had to root for somebody, yes. I guess it would be Corey. It's a good game. All right, so you're rooting for Corey. We'll find out when we come back right here on the World Poker Tour. Well, as is the custom on the World Poker Tour, we get down to heads up play. We have our money presentation. The ladies in red bringing out the green. This is the dream of every poker player. To see the girls come out here with the trophy and the money. I mean, this is beautiful. It's a lot of money. It's a lot. These two young guns are going to fight it out for the lion's share of that money. Big time cash, lots of flash. But bigger than that, one of these players is going to become a star on the World Poker Tour. Who's it going to be? It's come down to 22-year-old Jonathan Little and 24-year-old Canadian Corey Carroll. He's starting out with a slight chip lead. He's got a little less than 3.2 million. Jonathan Little sitting on about three million. All right, the cards are being dealt. Action's going to be on Jonathan Little. And this time, Jonathan peeks down at a pretty awful 10-3. But that's not going to slow him down because he's going to move it up. He's going to raise, going to make it 300,000 to go. Now, Corey has a jack seven. Three total. Without hesitation, Corey's going to make the call. So they are rambling and gambling. At least so far in this heads-up battle. Well, it's not about cards anymore. They're just playing the man. Here's the flop, King Jack 5. Corey has flopped second pair and checks. Yes, he does. Going to try to set up Jonathan Little here a little bit. Of course, he looks like he's going to make a continuation bet with his nothing hand. 400,000. This is where you face your toughest decisions in No Limit Hold'em. When you flop second pair and your opponent's firing out at you, what do you do now? If you call and you're wrong, this guy really has a king. It could be the tournament because this is getting expensive, but he is right. Well, he's making the call here, Vance. Mm -hmm. To the discomfort.